I'm Nico, and welcome to another episode of Life in China. Today, I'm going to travel from Beijing to Xi'an on the sleeper train, otherwise known as the slow train. This is my first time traveling overnight on a train, and I'm super excited to give it a try. Make sure you watch to the end to find out my tips on what to pack. As with any train journey, you start off at the station. I'm at Beijing West, which you guessed it, is the main station for trains going west. First things first, you need to pick up your ticket. I would recommend booking this in advance. You can do this easily using a website called trip.com, which has an English option. You can choose and pay, then pick them up from any station, which is super handy and much easier. Once you get your tickets, then head through security and you're in the train station. Then you need to find out what gate you're at. Okay, so this says that we're traveling from Beijing to Xi'an. This is the number of the train, Z19. The date, also the time that our train is. This says we're in the coach one and berth six. So let's go to our gate. As with most modes of transport, there's different levels of comfort. On the train that I'm taking, there's a hard sleeper, a soft sleeper, and a deluxe sleeper. In other trains, you can also get a hard seat, a soft seat, and standing ticket. Personally, I wouldn't recommend one of these if you're going on a long journey. I think it's better to get a good night's sleep. Let's talk about the differences. So with a hard sleeper, obviously uh, they're a little bit harder, for starters. There's also a little less space in each coach. Each coach is open and the compartments have six berths. So you've got a bottom, a middle, and a top to each compartment. Like I said, it's all open. You put your luggage at the top. Um, you, so if you like a little bit of privacy, then this is probably not the best one for you. Also, the toilets are a little bit different on this car and they're Chinese style toilets. So that means you'll have to squat. So with the soft sleeper, it's a little bit different. Obviously, it's called a soft sleeper, so it's a bit more comfortable. It's a bit softer and it's a little bit bigger. In each coach, there's a little less bed, a little less compartment. And in each compartment, you get four beds instead of six. So it's a bit like a bunk bed. You get a bottom and a top. Also, there's a door, which means you get a bit more privacy. There's a few more amenities and it's just a little bit nicer. The deluxe sleeper, I obviously haven't had the privilege to ride on yet, but I hear that it's even nicer and it's quite expensive ticket. You get two bunks in one compartment. So if you're a couple, this is perfect. Also, sometimes some of them have TVs and you get a private bathroom. All the different classes have sheets and pillows, which means you don't have to bring your own, so that's super handy. And they also have boiling water, which means you can get some instant noodles or a cup of tea or coffee in the morning. Some of the, uh, some of the trains have dining cars and some of them don't, so just in case, I wouldn't risk it and I would either eat before you come on or bring some snacks for the journey. Obviously, I can't afford the deluxe option because uh, it's like twice the price of a soft sleeper. So I've gone for a soft sleeper this time as we're taking an overnight train. So let me show you inside a little bit more. Okay, so this is inside the soft sleeper. So we've got top bunk, bottom bunk on one side and the same on the other. It's like a little bunk bed. Uh, I've got a little shelf here, which is handy for a phone or book or whatever. Got a little hanger to hang your coat up in. Got some buttons. Don't know what they do. Uh, we've got a little light, which is handy if you want to read, so you don't disturb your neighbours. Um, I think there's a plug somewhere, so you can charge your phone. There's a TV. I don't know if that works either. Maybe the buttons are for the TV. Also, got some free slippers, which is really handy. So you can pop, pop them on. Um, I've sat on a hard sleeper before, and these soft sleepers are a lot bigger and so I think I'm gonna have a very comfy night's sleep tonight. I'm quite excited to get to bed. Oh looks like we're going. See you later Beijing. See you in 
13 hours, Shian. So the snack cart just came around. It was pretty limited, so I'm pleased that I ate before I came onto the sleeper train. But I did manage to get myself a beer, so this should help me sleep well tonight. Cheers to a weekend in Xi'an. So this is the corridor of the sleeper train. Like I said, I'm in the soft sleeper carriage, so it's got this long bit and doors. In the hard sleeper, it's all open a bit unprivate. At the end of the corridor there is a washing room which has got some sinks and oh there's some soap that's nice that's good you don't see that often here in China so that's quite uh, quite interesting. There's also some hot water so if you want your noodles that's where you get it from in our hot water you have. <laughs> Security guard. Uh, this is the toilet. Let's have a look in here. Oh, lovely. Well, it is a Western style toilet, which is different to the hard sleeper carriages. All already looking nice and tasty. Well, at least it's not a squat, it's not a squat toilet like the hard sleepers. So, you know, it's up to you what you prefer. To be honest, I actually quite like a, a squat toilet because it's a bit more hygienic here. This is the the joining bit. Here we go. So now I'm in carriage two. And it's exactly the same. Well that's really helpful. So each carriage is all along. They've all got these amenities like boiling water. They've each got a toilet. You've got your own cabin. So yeah. Really good. Very impressed. morning I've just woken up from my first night on a sleeper train I slept okay not the best night's sleep ever but that's kind of to be expected I'm on a train um, as you can see it's a little bit rickety so everything kind of shakes a bit um, you can really feel the motion so if you get motion sickness maybe it's not the best way to travel it was a bit weird it was surprisingly quiet in the night, uh, apart from the fact that the train blew its horn every 10 seconds. So make sure you bring earplugs. It's about half an hour till we get off, so we're gonna start packing up our things and getting ready. Make sure you keep your ticket because you need it to exit the train station. Stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you what else you need to bring for the overnight train. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some essentials that I think will make your journey on the sleeper train that little bit nicer. First of all, don't forget to bring some tissues or toilet paper and also some hand sanitizer, just in case they haven't got either or they haven't got any soap. If you wanna brush your teeth, then definitely remember your toothbrush and some toothpaste. I think it's also really handy to have an eye mask in case people wanna put the lights on and also some earplugs. Like I mentioned in the video, it was quite quiet, but for some reason the train's horn went off all the time. So this will block out the sound. You should also bring some snacks. Some dried stuff or some crackers are really good. Also some dried noodles as there's boiling water so you can heat these up on the train. Also, don't forget to bring either a refillable bottle or some water to drink. You can get hot water, but not cold water. Well, you can buy it on the train, but bring it with you anyway. I'd also recommend bringing something to wear for bed with long sleeves, like a jumper, a hoodie, or a shirt or something. Although you get uh, bedding, it might be a little bit cold because of the air conditioning. You should also bring some entertainment, like a book, <laughs> like a book, a magazine, or your iPad, so you can watch something. 
and don't forget your battery pack in case you can't get access to the plug. They're just some things that I think will make your trip a little bit nicer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment and also subscribe to my channel for more China related content. I'll see you next time.